Are you going to react to the new continued iCarly trailer, you ask? Interesting prompt, I must admit. Hey look, it's the iCarly reveal reboot trailer. <laughs> that was a really good segue you made me. I was a fan of iCarly back when it came out. Not even like as a, this was before influencer things were a thing anyway, but even still, I was just into it before I became a YouTuber. Wasn't that into it, it was just on, but. I liked Spencer the most. I, I'm not a fan of Carly, not a fan of Fred. Fred? Was his name Fred? Freddy? Freddy. Spencer though. Mwah. And the Drake and Josh references that they made that one time. Big fan. I don't know. I don't have any thoughts about the iCarly reboot. The only thing I really have is rest in peace to the whole iCarly reboot because it's coming out on Paramount Plus, which I've never even heard of before you know it's like we <laughs> so you know usually a movie has goes to hulu to die but paramount plus is apparently the disney channel reboot equivalent or maybe i'm entirely wrong and paramount's about to explode and i just have no idea and i'm just don't understand the kids these days we'll find out i know one thing about this thing that does not do well in its favor that boy that boy right there, not this one, forget this one. This boy right here does not make an appearance. He's not in the reboot. Gibby falling from the sky and crashing and probably injuring his stuntman. Doesn't get to make a reappearance in this reboot. I'm boycotting it now. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't need it anymore. Gibby was the reason I lived and breathed when I was... 13 years old. Spencer was there as well on the side. Was his name Spencer? Yes, or was that the Drake and Josh version? No, that's Crazy Steve. Spencer was like my heart and soul, but I mean Gibby was like my lungs, you know, he was my bloodstream. You know what I mean? And he's not coming back. Also, Jeanette McCurdy stopped acting, yes, um, so she's not in it as well, which is fair enough. I'm not gonna complain on that front, you know, it's just like fair enough, not gonna push. I mean, to be fair, if Gibby stopped acting, that's all fine too. No no disrespect to the actual actors, but man, narrative-wise, I need me some Gibby, damn it. <laughs> but yes, uh, that's fine. It'd be curious to see how they do with the characters they do get, but I mean, uh, no, I was going to say I might watch this show, but it's on Paramount+, Plus, so it's a no from me. Even still, 2012 to 2021, he's grown the smallest, thinnest possible beard. Now he's an adult. All right, is that a fake Apple logo? That is, it's a heart. Nice. So that means he's allowed to be evil. In the film industry, if a character has an Apple product, they have to be a good guy. That is the rules given by Apple if you want to be seen as a product placement in their stuff. So Freddy here is not using an Apple device. He's using a heart device. Freddy has the capacity to be evil in this show. It is confirmed. It's a pair. Even still, it's not Apple, so he's allowed to be evil. They all had pair phones. Well, they all could be evil. Victorious could be a satanic death ring, for all you know. It's not. It would be a very interesting theory. I'm not a theorist. You could probably tell by these uh, strange directions I'm going already. Did I? Did I subconsciously follow in Spencer's, like, image? Because I was... I didn't intend to. Maybe this guy touched my heart more on a subconscious level. I... Hmm. I mean, at least I haven't got the floral shirt. That would have been a funny joke if I had the exact same shirt, but I'm afraid I don't quite. I'm really <laughs> I don't think Jerry Trainer aged. I don't think we age at a certain point, you know? There's like a, there's a, there's a pause that people have, unless, they'll either lose all their hair or they won't. And in that time, you don't age. Uh, like, you know, Freddy looks, actually, Freddy also hasn't aged much apart from the, the faint facial hair, so. And like, Carly, Carly, Carly doesn't look that different. She just looks, she looks like she's got more bone structure to her. But that could just be my visuals being weird. <sighs> I did enjoy these old baby things. 
Is uh, have I out have I outgrown that kind of humor? Am I better than this? Probably. I'm surprised they didn't get more on like the cat hype or something. But I mean, actually, that's a really outdated view of the internet. So what do I know? This is your moment to shine. You the new characters, fair enough. I get it. I get what they're going for. This is actually an interesting direction to take Icarda because she's actually an influencer now. She could do more influencer-based things, getting in the industry. That's an in. They have an interesting premise to reboot Icarly, but I'm not gonna watch it. Interesting. Uh, I guess actually that's a point. That's a more adult joke. Hot beers. That's the last time I listened to Guy Fieri. I am in. The spitting was a better joke. The punchline was really naff. In no place to date. But okay. Honey, I put your warm milk in your thermos next to your. Okay. I really didn't like her as a character. I don't- I'm not a fan of these kind of annoying characters as a kid. Um, I'm still not really now. Why can't you play it off, Freddy? Just be like, haha! Oh, mother. Anyway, can we- Like, you can- you can make- make fun of yourself, Freddy. Why are you making it more awkward and cringy for yourself? So we done here? No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm too attached to these kind of things. I don't even have an over-the-top mum, but I'm just like, Gah. Hate that character archetype. That's cool. Oh, freaking that guy. I remember him. This is just a bit of a nostalgia blast, but that's all this gonna be. I'm not gonna watch any more than this. Just gonna consume the trailer. Maybe I've seen enough of the trailer. So this is like Friends, but even less funny. Yeah, yeah, that would be a good way to wrap it up. Um, it is very much a Disney Channel show. It was enjoyable when I was younger. This has even less of the actual show. Not that, like, it, like you know, this is all about around the show at the moment. I, I'm, I'm major sick of this set, though. Like, if I actually lived in this world, as much as the, the, the house is nice, I'd be like, man, we've already spent, like, eight years in this room and this house. Unless it's a new house and it just happens to have the exact same design, which is a, like an interesting joke. But like, I'm like, I can't stay in a place for like longer than six years without just like wanting to rip my hair out and barge through all the walls. So I couldn't stomach being in the same room house again. This guy was the worst. He would, he made a, uh, he made a joke once about you will rue the day. And then the other characters are like, rue? That's a weird word. And that's lodged in my long-term memory and I can't get over it. This guy has... I've taken too much inspiration from iCarly. I look like Spencer. I mean, I enjoy Freddy. Gibby is my heart and soul. And this guy's damn punchline won't get out of that little gap between my ears. Ugh. Oh well. <laughs> Interesting. It's not the worst reboot in the world. It's missing two of your main characters, but it can go an interesting direction. I'm sure whoever has Paramount Plus will have a great time, but I won't be buying Paramount Plus specifically for it, I think. That's my kind of stance on iCarly. That's kind of the vibe I get from everyone else as well. It's like, oh, okay, that's cool. Anyway, uh, what's on next week, you know?